DaVinci 19 update. Today's video is proudly sponsored by the developer. As you already know, there is a new update, which I have to admit, includes a lot of new cool stuff. My favorite new tool, by far, is the Film Look Creator. The good thing with this, is that you don't need to go in the color page and apply the effect, you can do it directly in the edit page, go to the open effects menu and search for the Film Look Creator. Drag it to your clip, go to the effects tab, and here you have all the settings you need. Basically those are tools that already existed in previous versions, but finally they decided to make a dedicated tool for the lazy people. You don't need to add 10 different nodes and go back and forth adjusting things, now you have everything nicely in one tool. I will not go through every slider, because most of them are self-explanatory. There are some basic presets to start with, but the most important part is the color space overrides. From what I can tell, in order for this to work properly, you need to feed the correct color space to it, by default it is using the settings from your timeline. In my case, my timeline is set to DaVinci Intermediate and my clip is Rec 709. Once I've changed the color space and gamma, the tool will work correctly. If you're one of this nerd virgin guys who owns expensive cameras, you need to change the input to whatever you get from your fancy camera. My favorite slider is the split tone, which is pretty simple to use. Obviously you need to crank up the halation and bloom all the way, because that's what everyone is doing. There are some presets for the grain. Good thing is that there is the image defocus slider also. Some film gates, where you can type the aspect ratio if you want. You can also control the amount of the color applied, or the effects. Overall looks like pretty useful tool. If you've watched my previous video about the updates, this is what I was asking for, so I have to thank the developers for this. If I can make one suggestion though, if you include a film print emulation in this tool, will be perfect. We already have some built-in ones, but if you can add few more, then this will be the best tool, I guess there is no need to pay for expensive plugins anymore.